all the wild wild type lambda phages they can be used as a cloning vector but because of some characteristic feature it is not so good uh, to transform foreign dna into the host organism the reason is that it contain multiple restriction sites for different type of endonucleases if genomic dna of the lambda phage it will contain different restriction sites for the same enzyme then it can cause the fragmentation of the lambda genome and because of this reason it is not valuable for gene cloning procedures under natural conditions we have the idea that uh, transducing phage particles are produced that can carry the some part of the host genome and then it can be transferred to another host organism by a process which is called as transduction so naturally lambda phages have the ability to be used as a uh, cloning vectors but nowadays to solve the problem of multiple cloning sites uh, researchers have developed some modified lambda phages that can be used as a cloning vector these modified lambda phages have uh, one or two restriction sites where the dna fragments either can be removed or inserted a few examples of the modified lambda phages are carone vectors that included carone 4a where the restriction sites may be 2 to 3 and the non essential dna fragments it can be removed and replaced with the foreign dna because here we are removing the non essential region and replacing it with foreign dna to is wajah se isko replacement vectors bhi kaha jata hai like carone 4a ye inko replaceable vectors bhi kaha jata hai isi tarah se uh, ek aur type hai carone 16 jisme ek hi restriction site hoti hai और इसको इक्वार वन से कट करके तो फॉरेन डीएनए इंसर्ट कर दिया जाता है क्योंकि यहां हम फॉरेन डीएनए को इंसर्ट कर रहे हैं इस वजह से इनको इंसर्शनल वेक्टर्स कहा जाता है सो द मोटिफाइड लैमडा फेजेस दे आर प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय रिमूविंग द मल्टीपल क्लोनिंग साइट्स बाय डिफरेंट म्यूटेशनल प्रोसेस दैट मे Uh, be included like the substitution of bases uh, or addition or deletion of certain bases so that it it may contain a few cloning sites in addition to that modified lambda phages they also contained uh, an extra reporter gene which is called as uh, beta galactosidase and this production of beta galactosidase after the insertion of Uh, foreign dna it will indicate that whether the foreign dna it is inserted or not for example if the beta galactosidase expression it is lost because of the insertion of foreign dna within this gene then this will indicates that okay no transformants have been produced now briefly we can focus that uh, what type of uh, lambda derivatives are there first example it is the wild type lambda here it indicates the different regions of the lambda genome the five prime ends that is red portions they are indicated by the cohesive sites or cos site where complementary base pairing is there by which after inserting into the host organism these complementary base pairs they can join and the linear duplex dna molecule it is converted into circular form on the left side some genes that encode for head and tail proteins are there that is capsid genes and at the right side also some essential genes are there but the dna segment between the j and n gene as i told you earlier it can be replaced with foreign dna so that's why it is also called as a replaceable region but because of the presence of multiple 
cloning sites. This DNA, it is not valuable as a cloning vector. For example, here different restriction sites, they are present for EcoR1. For example, here five EcoR1 sites have been indicated. So because of this reason, lambda genome, that is wild type, it is not well suited as a cloning vector. Because of this reason, modified lambda phages have been synthesized that are called as modified lambda phages derivative. So one of the example is Caron 4A. So here two or three restriction sites they are present for equal one and here the non-essential DNA fragment after digestion with equal one it can be removed and the foreign DNA it can be inserted within beta gold gene. Once it is inserted, the expression it is lost that will indicate the presence of foreign gene. And because here the non-essential fragment it is removed, because of this reason it is called as replacement vector. The third type it is called as Caron 16. It contains only one restriction site within the gene of beta gall, and here the DNA fragment it is inserted. When the DNA fragment is inserted, its expression is lost and it is called as insertional vector because we are inserting the foreign DNA but not removing any part of the Caron 16. So that's why it is called as insertional vector. Now we can say that modified lambda phages like Caron 4A and 16 they can be effectively used as a cloning vector and here the multiple cloning sites have been removed by either substitution, addition or deletion. In addition to that, it also contains a reporter gene which is called as beta uh, galactosidase that encodes this enzyme and if this enzyme it is produced after the insertion of foreign DNA then we can say that uh, the uh, foreign DNA has not been inserted and if the insertion is there the expression of beta galactosidase it is an inactivated that indicates uh, the presence of foreign DNA. If we compare these two types of vectors like 4A and Caron 16, then one can say that in case of Caron 4A, the fragment it has been removed and foreign DNA it has been inserted. So here we can clone larger DNA fragments. Whereas in case of insertional vector like Caron 16, we are inserting the foreign DNA without the removal of foreign DNA, or rather without the, without the removal of vector DNA, then only smaller DNA fragments that may be up to 5 kilobase pair, they can be uh, cloned. So overall, because of the presence of reporter gene, these modified lambda phages, they are very effective in transforming E. coli cells.